Right now, there are fresh groups of high school graduates all around the corridor. And CBS 2 News anchor Scott Sanborn tells us that grads in Tipton are getting a major head start on their post high school careers. And it's a story you'll only see here on CBS 2. Selfless, dedicated, caring. The graduating seniors of Tipton High School know firsthand what those words really mean, and not because they looked them up in a dictionary. It's a lesson learned thanks to a generous gift created in the corridor. I remember preschool graduation and everyone's like, oh, what do you want to be? And I've wanted to be a teacher since then. Since preschool? Yes. At preschool graduation, I was holding up a sign that said I wanted to be a teacher. And so. now Alice and Ryan will pursue that dream at the preschool University of Iowa, um, studying um, elementary um, education. Yes. Meanwhile, back on the farm. At first, I actually started out just wanting to be like a doctor. But then I was like, well, I really don't want to go away from my ag background. Logan Hoffman will study animal science at Iowa State with hopes of becoming a veterinarian. I'd like to travel like the world and my grandpa was part of the Navy and he's like, well, if you want to travel the world, then heck, join this. And then there's Zoe Rezac, who will start her medical career at UNI before joining the Navy. The plan is to kind of go overseas and be a pediatric nurse on a base. I remember like closer to middle school, we'd ask like, where is Sandy and Kevin? Yeah. All three of these 18 year olds recently had a mini reunion with two very special people in their lives. School volunteers Kevin and Sandy Gleaves adopted a kindergarten class 13 years ago. Their kindergarten class. And the Gleaves never left. I was in education for 37 years and I've never seen anything like this. I Retired Tipton Superintendent Dick Gramoska says the Gleaves that. became mentors several yeah. times a week, yeah. year after year after year. Five Kevin friends, helping friends, with science friends, and math, friends. Sandy with reading and basic skills. They took the kids on field trips and offered assistance in any way needed. Kevin and Sandy decided to become a part of these kids' lives in a very positive way. I think it's a tremendous example to people. It was kind of like they were just um, like almost like second grandparents almost because they like we did a lot of the same things that I would do with mine. We always knew that we could count on them and they were there always so often early in our um, education. First grade, second grade, third grade, they're still with us. Like they're sticking with us. You'd always have those helpers that would come in and like, oh, they're here for a week or so or whatever, but they were with us all the time. And here's where the story really pays off. Just before their freshman year, the entire unsuspecting class and their parents were called to a meeting. We thought we were just having like a going to high school thing and getting to know what high school was like. The Gleaves had started a scholarship fund that now totals roughly $800,000. It was a stunned silence. 70 students would each receive about $1,000 for every year they completed in the Tipton School District. I mean, it was, it was almost like awestruck. You didn't even know what to think because it, they weren't just there just to help you, that they were going to help you even pass high school. My mom was crying. Everyone was crying. And like in eighth grade, I was just like, okay, this is money, scholarships. But now it's like, oh my gosh, like, this could help like kids that weren't able to go to college go to college and pays for a whole year from my schooling, which is awesome. The money goes directly to the institution the student has chosen, whether that's a trade school, college, or university. There is a lot of flexibility, and they have six years to spend it. Maybe they want to spend it all their freshman year, or maybe they want to extend it over all four years or five years of their education. Uh, well, however they choose to spend it, that's, that's their decision. I'm getting closer now to college, and I'm just like... Thank you so much. The Gleaves wouldn't talk on camera. They want the focus to be on the students. Any money left over from the scholarship fund will go to the Tipton School Foundation. Scott Sanborn, CBS2.